tool. How many of you have used Clojure or know what, if, what Clojure is? Some of you. Okay. How many of you are testers, by the way, who do testing? Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. So, uh, what is the problem, right? So, testing real world stateful business logic is very hard. There are a lot of cases to worry about, there are a lot of combinations, right? So, for example, here is the microwave oven state machine diagram. And as you can see, there is a lot of uh, transitions that can happen. So there is, and it has inherent state built into it, which needs to be tested. Right? Even if you have a functional programming language or any of that sort, you still need to test against a certain state. Right? And it becomes difficult to enumerate all possible combinations. Right? Which, how many times should you set the timer back? Till you might uh, may not encounter a bug if you set the timer once, but third time there might be a bug, right? And it, because if you try to enumerate all possible combinations, the test becomes really unreadable, and they become really hard to reason and what is what this test is really about. So what I'm proposing is that the uh, using DSL is is a way of writing tests which which can solve this problem. So what is a DSL? A DSL is a Domain specific language, which is it's like a programming language designed specifically to address solutions to problems in a specific domain. So this is not a general purpose language, it's it's targeted towards a domain. So let's take a real example of that. So at Helpshift, uh, we are embedding, uh, we are making embeddable support desk for native apps. So uh, as a developer, you can take our SDK, put it inside. Uh, each domain can have several apps. Clash of Clans, Boom Beat, and Ghana has their Ghana app. Each app can have several sections. Each section can have several FAQs. And each FAQ can have several translations in several languages. Right? So here is a Ghana.com uh, uh, FAQ page. How many of you know Ghana.com? Yeah, cool. So, so that's the domain. This is the app. That's the FAQ section. Within that section, these are the available FAQs, which can be searched by the customers. And here's how you can create an FAQ on our dashboard. Here's you can add a title, a body, and some metadata, like whether the FAQ is available or not. And there are two trans publish uh, meta. So one is that globally, whether this uh, FAQ is available, and each translation can separately be turned on and off. And I, uh, I, I need to talk about that because it's important later. So there is a problem, right, uh, in our system, which we were trying to solve, is that currently we could not have one FAQ common across several apps. If you have, say, a privacy policy,